Now here's a video I needed to get out quick because starting tomorrow the ISS gonna send a slow scan television pictures on the ham radio bands and that is something very educational for everyone. You can do that with your family, you can do that with the kids, uh, you can do it for yourself because it's really a lot of fun. And the first option to do that is if you have a hum radio transceiver for the VHF band, you can set it to 145800. Turn off the squelch so you have the, the noise on all the time so it won't stop on a weak signal. And you need some software to decode slow scan television. Now I have an iPhone and I'm only aware of one piece of software, which is the one from Black Cat Systems, which does cost a few bucks. And here you can see the ISS signal coming up and the picture slowly developing. Now you don't need to um, expect a digital image quality like uh, you're used to these days. It's more like um, 1980s VHS tapes quality. But it's still a real lot of fun and you can play with Doppler shifts and explain your kids and family how uh, this is affected by the speed of the satellite coming up over the horizon and setting on the other side then. You also might need to adjust the face and the skew if it's not a straight image that you're getting, but you'll, you'll find that out very quickly on a hands-on approach. Then once the picture's transmitted, uh, the ISS gonna be quiet for a while. Uh, during one pass, if you get a good one, you might get two to three images. And then you have to wait for another 90 minutes for the next pass, if you're lucky. Now, if you do not have a handheld ham radio receiver, you can also use a web SDR, which is a ham radio receiver somewhere on the internet. And of course, you need to know where this is because the rise and set times of the ISS are different, of course, for every uh, space on the globe. Now, this one is located in the Netherlands and is operated by um, the European Space Agency's radio club. Uh, this does cover the two major ham band as well as some weather bands. And to decode that on your PC, you need a piece of software called MMSSTV, and I will link the download source uh, down in the comments. This is going to decode the SSTV images, and you also need a piece of software called Virtual Audio Cable to pipe the, uh, the sound through. Now, the next option is if you want to um, get a bit deeper into a ham radio reception or reception in general is to get a RTL SDR receiver, software defined radio receiver. I got one here that also does uh, shortwave bands, which is for the HF plug here. Um, but here we're using 145800, which is a two meter ham band. And uh, yeah, you set that to uh, narrow FM and the nice thing about that is that you can also compensate for the Doppler shift. 
Now you can start doing that tomorrow and I wish you the best of luck catching the ISS.